beating this other school and it mentioned that Tom Fichtel outscored the other team. Uh, <laughs> never told that story. Uh, he, he was my principal in junior high school, he was a speech principal as well, and uh, there was a, uh, everybody had to make wood shop back in the day, and so I was in wood shop and uh, oh, another kid in the class, Randy Benson, had one of those uh, sweaters, uh, like an Argyle sweater or something like that, you know, the old uh, Mr. Rogers uh, sweater. <laughs> and we thought it'd be funny to see how much sawdust we could get in that Argyle sweater. And uh, he was, you know, doing whatever with his wood project. We were making handfuls of sawdust and kind of filling up his sweater. So I thought it was funny. <laughs> Y'all knew, but I did. <laughs> Well, somebody told me about it, and I'm back working at my table, and he's just getting ready to blast me with a handful of sawdust when the shop teacher comes in. And he goes, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm getting the back. And he turns around and shows the back of the sweater. So I went to the principal's office. <laughs> Got my detention and two weeks' detention, and I decided I'd walk home rather than wait for my dad to get it <laughs> And then I get home and uh, my dad says, uh, and you talk to you. And I said, about what? He said, about woodshop. And I said, well, you already did. He goes, no, the principal talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I heard about dual roles at that time. But he got over things rather quickly. Uh, the same year, in fact, just a few months later, uh, he and I were out playing golf. Uh, Steve was in a track meet, and uh, the seventh hole at Greenhaven is a par five, about 500, a little over 500 yards long, and we're up there, and he hits the ball and just blasts that ball, and we start going down the fairway, and I hit my second shot, and we're still walking. He goes, well, I think it's lost. I said, no, it's further. He goes, oh, we're out 300 yards, it can't be further. I said, no, it's further, so we kept walking. We're about 400 yards out. He goes, no, it can't be this far. And he starts turning around. I said, no, I think it is. And I kept walking. And sure enough, 12 feet from the pin, there's his golf ball. A 500-yard drive. And uh, he agonized over that 12-foot putt for a little while. <laughs> and, and he made that 12-foot putt for an albatross, which is better than a hole-in-one. Um, the thing is, the next hole, someone comes up to us and said, uh, Steve broke his arm running the hurdles. We need to get to the hospital. I don't think he ever told a soul that he had a 500 yard drive or that he got an albatross. Because at that point, it didn't matter. He didn't take care of his son. That's what he was. Um, anyway, just one other story. My sport in high school was tennis. Not basketball, which would be obvious, but <laughs> And I was getting ready for the regional tournament and the state tournament. And said, Dad, I need to keep practicing, practicing. He goes, okay, I'll, I don't know. I'm not that good a tennis player, but I'll try. So we went out, and I 